Hi, this is Carla. It's uh, Monday, President's Day, and uh, it's a very cold, wintry weather day down here in Alabama. Actually, there's a winter storm watch out. Uh, our town actually bought a snow plow and salt truck, and it was salting the roads last night because they were expecting snow. School was closed today, though, because of President's Day, and so the kids are safe at home, and the bus drivers didn't have to be out. And because it's a federal holiday, the post office was closed too, so those workers didn't have to get out. And um, so yeah, it was just a good day to be in and organize and get some stuff done. So yesterday I started doing this. Um, I turned or converted the little closet in my bedroom into a baby nursery. So I just wanted to real quick show you. I've got two little babies laying here in this Eddie Bauer travel bed. And one is the Presley Asleep. I started him as a little boy with painted hair and ended up rooting hair and turned it into a little girl that I named Ruthie uh, after my mom, Ruth. And then over there is the little 21-inch Behringer baby that I named Betsy. And they're both dressed in real snuggly, uh, very plush uh, sleepers today because it is so cold here. And they have some of the Winnie the Pooh toys in their bed and some little taggy blankets and little loveys and that's them on top they're laying on top of two uh, recycled small um, what are these file cabinets and in the black one right now I have the top drawer holds the uh, let's see the socks and some hats pacifiers just little odds and end knickknacks and the bottom drawer holds blankets and over here this has uh, shirts and pants in the top drawer and sleepers and little outfits in the bottom drawer. I have uh, quite a bit more clothes than that, but I sorted through the ones that I thought I would use more often and I'm keeping them in here and the other I'll put up in storage in another room. And um, just to show you, I'm expecting another little baby that I purchased off of eBay. It's an Ashton Drake that's no longer sold and she should be coming tomorrow. Uh, it shows that she was in my town today, but since the post office was closed, of course, she didn't come. But she will be in this little wicker uh, basket sitting over here at the end. And then up here, I've hung uh, seasonal clothes. I've got sleepers and things I've collected, uh, Valentine's and Halloween and Christmas and a few little snowsuits. And that's all back in here. In this Hello Kitty bag, I have hats, uh, more hats than I could fit down here, and this little uh, black drawer there. Then over here, I have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, bibs, and then little jackets, little denim jackets, and little spring fall jackets. And then back here, I know the lighting, there is no light in this closet. I'm going to try and get one of those that you can just hang up. But these are all thrifted toys or items, and I just thought I'd put them in to decorate with. So this is a little elephant over there. And this is like a little vintage rattle. It's plastic, looks like a, a diaper pin. This, I don't have a little baby named Casey, but I like this little black and white and blue and pink um, taggy blanket. This little treasure box was from Melissa from... Um, Dolly Pop Productions. She made this last year. She, If you remember, she had a contest where you wrote a story, and she had a few entries. I didn't win the contest, but she was sweet enough to make uh, me also one of these little treasure trinket boxes, and I really love that. So that's hanging in here. And then this is another little taggy kind of a blanket there. Um, this is just a little uh, patchwork pillow top that I had and I put some fiber fill stuffing in there so the new baby will have a little pillow. And then I'll pan up here. I recycled a uh, box and put my diapers in there. A little puppy up there and a, a baby name book. Another recycled box with toys in it. This was a box that the Presley Asleep Baby came in and now it's got headbands and bows and, and barrettes and all that. And then I've got some boppies over here. And the final thing in my little um, nursery area 
is an over the door hanger. It's made out of metal and has these little, uh, all these little hooks that you can hang things on. But what I ended up doing, these are all little recycled loveys and little toy things that I have uh, picked up and they're all washed and ready for the babies. And I've just hung them over here. I thought they were a real cute mixture of colors and just brightens up this one little door. And so that's how I finished that with the little door. But yeah, this is just an overview of a uh, converted closet that I turned into a nursery. I actually got the idea from watching Hello Melissa Sue's videos because I know she's done that in closets where she lived. And I thought that was an excellent idea. And this used to be our clothes closet, but we had inherited and really weren't using a old cedar closet that had doors that my parents had ever since I was a kid. And so we put our clothes in there, and it's in the corner of our bedroom now. And so, yeah, this is my little um, closet nursery area. And like I said, I'm sorry that it doesn't have real good lighting in there. But I just wanted to show you how it looked and how it was laid out. And um, yeah, I'm just tickled at another way to utilize space. And I just uh, am grateful for the wonderful ideas that I see on YouTube and in the Reborn community. And then we can put our own spin on them and see what we can do. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I'll leave you with this. This little guy right here, he, if you press on him, he plays Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and his little cheeks light up. So thank you for watching everyone and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Okay? Thanks a lot. Bye.